वेरी फ्यू पीपल हैव सीन मी क्राइंग अगर किसी ने मुझे रोते देख लिया है तो वो इसलिए है शायद कि आई एम वेरी क्लोज टू द पर्सन सो वी कैरी पैटर्न फ्रॉम आर एनसेस्टर्स वी कैरी कोर्स वी डू आई एम श्योर वी डू भैन जी इधर नाल किसी कुड़ी नु भेजा करो नहीं तो ना कोठे चुक के ला जोगे थोड़ी कुड़ी नु वाज इट लाइक एन इमोशनल ब्लैकमेल काइंड ऑफ क्राइंग वर्सेस अ इन पेन क्राइंग आई थिंक आई वाज इन पेन and someone said he's alive and that was it you know log bahut takleef wali cheez hai punjabiyon ki thodi problem hai wow. this is how much we pretend pain the beauty of pain is that it's so unique to us we think we know it but it really shows up in so many different ways welcome to healing with hitesh we talk about journeys of transformation and of pain and today we have with us anu mehta hey anu hi good morning and welcome thank you for inviting how are you today mm, very good how does it feel to be here are you nervous are you excited i think i'm uh, very excited yeah yeah good and i'm a little nervous <laughs> you know i'm talking to anu mehta you know i've always been in awe of you from the day i spoke to you okay and i was sharing with you earlier today that um, i think sometimes men fear confident women you know it's we we see that confidence early in our life with our mother but uh, i don't think we see it in in life with our spouses with our partners and our conditioning is such in this society that men tend to get a little scared of women who are confident who are so bold because men are used to playing that role yeah you catch me unawares here because i'm not even aware that i come across like that Well it's a good thing it's a compliment. I do take it as a compliment. I don't know whether to take it as a compliment or not but you it, should. Okay. I I know I'm a strong person. I know I have um, I give that vibe. But I don't know I didn't know that that kind of catches attention. Let's put it that way. Well it does actually. And it's 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 a it's, it's a compliment. It's a nice uh uh a thing to to do to have and i think it's our experiences who make us uh, what we are and uh, it gives a sense of comforting at a very subtle level to people the first response is a little alarming but i think it gives a sense of comforting that we know we're with someone who can make us safe and secure you know and most men i think are so not used to being vulnerable because the persona the facade that we carry of these beliefs of being strong oh yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah absolutely okay <laughs> and i think bollywood and hollywood have shown it enough times that when men see the their wives in labor they really don't know what to do yeah yeah they I mean, don't they don't know what to do and then they um, and i think the reason why menstrual cycles got tabooed was because men didn't know what to do it's not because men a uh, woman needed to be signed like just men did not know how to deal with something i don't think it's just about men and women mm. when you talk about menstrual cycle i think it's about anything that you can see mm. different mm. that's uncomfortable you want to hide it mm. and that's not just about men that's about women mm. i think i never wanted to hide anything mm. the reason being if i'm going to hide it's going to pop up anyways i believe you cannot bury a, a dead body you cannot bury a secret you cannot bury a, something that you're feeling inside it is going to show up at some point or the other and i think drastic changes are required in this kind of a place where you're talking about acha okay <laughs> menstrual cycle we have to run away from it okay but that's something a man faces and a woman faces all her life in form of a sister mom mm. i mean he's he's a product of menstrual cycle not being there absolutely and to you know with the sister who's probably sitting in cramps in another bed and wondering what that is mm. and probably feeling privileged that he doesn't have to go through that pain Yeah, that's the other side. The grass is always greener on the other side. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, yes, it is. And of course, you can always say, "Oh, my sister gets pampered because that's how it is." We are constantly comparing. So, when like women have menstrual cycles, men have erections, and they don't know how to deal with them. No, they don't. Yeah, and they get worried that, "Oh my God, what do I do with this? And what's really happening to me?" I'm sure that you know, I, I don't remember that 
clearly, I'm sure vaguely, I would have memories of how I dealt with that. How did you deal with when you saw your child have his first erection? Actually, I don't know. I mean, with, with my son, I have a, a relationship which is just so fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I'm not fibbing. I'm not just layering it sure. and telling you. I'll give you a small example. Uh, he's right now around 30 years of age. And about four or five years back, his father comes screaming in the room. Not really, but like panic. I said, what happened? So he took me to the bathroom, and there was a whole box full of condoms, <laughs> like big box of condoms. And he says, "Ye kaam karta hai." <laughs> and I looked at him and I laughed. "Ah, ma, is he ho to kya kare?" <laughs> I later went and asked him. I said, "What was that box about?" And lying down in the in the bathroom. He says, Mom, you know what? Everybody knows that you won't say anything. So all my friends <laughs> have bought one big box, <laughs> and that's lying with me. So you coming back to your questions of, of you know, ki, what about how do you deal with? I think I was just open about sexuality with them. I was just open about saying, this is part of life. This is part of your anatomy. And this part of your anatomy is as beautiful as every other part of your anatomy. Nice. So do you feel that this is the way you've become or the way you are is because of your upbringing? What was Anuj really like growing up? What was life like? Were you always like that? I think I came from an extremely conservative background where women wouldn't talk. Mm. In fact, I had a very difficult childhood where I had to explain to my mom that I started my period. I got slapped. Wow. I got slapped that you, you started and she forgot. I mean, I, I did confront her or talk to her later and she kind of said, no, I never did that. But I never forgot that. You know, a piece of a cloth that, uh, what you call, not even a pad, yes. a sanitary pad, a piece of a cloth and you need to wash it again and again. And I was all of nine when I started my period. So it was... Uh, it was scary to be all nine and then get slapped and then being told you'll never grow tall and then to be told ki ab yahan se dhyan rakhna padega. It was melodramatic. She would ask me how many drops have you bled. Wow. And I knew then, like a rebel, I said, you know, kuch to aisa karna hai ki jab bade ho na, to I must create a cure for periods. Matlab, ladies ko ye Problem me now. Hmm. Because I perceived it as a problem. Hmm. Which was the conditioning, right? Which was the response you got from your surroundings. Yeah. Reality is, it's the biggest boon that a woman can have. She is given creativity in the power. She creates every month. She has a possibility of creating. And not just creativity. As long as medically, you have your period, you have your estrogen. And you are more happier in your body because there's so many things that don't happen to you medically because one of them is your heart is protected, your bones are protected mm -hmm. because you got your period. Most of us, most of the women that I know of and educated, because I did do the survey after mm, a few years back just to see, is it the same like when I was nine or has it changed? It was sad to see nothing has changed. Yeah, I don't think anything has changed. Nothing has changed. The only thing that's changed is from a cloth today, it's a sanitary towel. Thank God. We have someone standing there and saying, you know, a big Bollywood star stands there and <laughs> says, Ye dena zaruri hai apni bivi ko, mahavari ke time pe. I mean, is it a secret that every month your, your wife yeah, it's a sad needs a few, a time out kind of thing? Do we have to create a, how do you say, this whole facade around that God can't touch nahi kar sakte. I, I don't want to you know, hurt anyone's sentiments. Right. But this is one thing that's going to create a universe for you, create your aage ki pushte, create... Generations, create generations, life. Yeah. Create life. Create life. And you're not treating her like a Devi. You're not treating her like a creator. 
and then you yet you pray to a devi so anyway yeah. <clears throat> we can go on on that yeah. but today sense. let's talk about anu okay we'll talk about periods some other day sure. and we'll talk about menstrual cycles sure but so what was life like growing up you said you was conservative i i know you said that i didn't grow in a, in one place okay. i was more like a community child and what does that mean you have your mom and dad who bring you up then you have your neighbors who feed you <coughs> chicken mm mm-hmm. when you are not allowed chicken at all <laughs> the sardars mm-hmm. and then you move to your grandparents house because your little sister has come across and so now my nana nani become my next parents my mama mami who are not even parents become my next parents my masi becomes my kin my friend or my sister so the idea of family being fixed the idea of i met so many personalities hitesh it's only now that i realized that it was a boon in disguise but then it was very difficult to kind of um keep everyone happy so do you and i i presume there was a lot of the way things were back then i've heard of stories i i don't know because i haven't seen them but uh, chacha ko beti de di you know tumhare paas beti nahi bachcha nahi hai mere mere paas do hai you know was that very common back then i don't know i didn't no. see that okay i didn't see that so how was life when you felt there is no home because at the end of the parents got i had got... homes i had not one home but aunt... see wo nana nani ka ghar tha wo mummy papa ka ghar tha to mera ghar kaun sa tha ha so that's what my question is ki घर क्या है घर वहाँ है जहाँ हम रहते हैं और इज होम वेयर आर पेरेंट्स आर बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे फॉर अ चाइल्ड द साइज ऑफ द हाउस इज इज रेलिवेंट स्नगलिंग इन बिटवीन द पेरेंट्स इज इन दैट वेयर द चाइल्ड फील्स द मोस्ट सेफ टू नो माई फादर इज ऑन वन साइड माई मदर इज ऑन वन साइड एंड दैट टू मी दैट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ होम दैट वेर यू फेल्ट सेफ दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन आई ऑलवेज फेल्ट सेफ विद माई फैमिली the question of not being safe wasn't there but i didn't feel like one person's child hmm so if it was my mama is saying to do something my nani is saying to do something my mommy is saying to do something and my sister is asking me to do something my mom is asking me to do something my dad they wouldn't get the priority even today hmm it's more the others over them yes it's more like people who were there for me when i cried mm-hmm. they made more meaning in my life than people who really gave me birth and they are very dear to me but there was a distance maybe there was a subtle anger there that how could you leave me but wherever i stayed with my nana nani that that even today if i close my eyes is the safest place on this planet earth and will always be so the kind of grooming that i got i saw my grandfather and heard stories about him i saw him coming home and and you know just putting the solitaires like this on the bed and i would look at it and say as a little child ki ye kya hai he would get a, a bag full of uh you know goodies for my nani and my nani was like 5 feet nothing a fat obese woman who looked like a chinese <laughs> you know you have all and my grandfather was a tall guy dark really dark so poles apart from each other but i saw them holding the family together when it came to my mama who was inexperienced but i knew that if i asked him for this one ice cream in the middle of the night he would do it for me that one ice cream was more important than all the education in the world no m- money was never an issue i'm presuming since you said there was solitaires and money was an issue with my parents mm. not with my nana nani okay so when i did come back to mumbai from north of india it was like a shock for me because from a, a school that was huge size to a school that was puny <laughs> to we call them bathroom schools in bombay ha huh. to my parents crunching on everything and i not understanding it why they doing it to a place where i had car and a driver to a place where 
इट वॉज देर बट नॉट ऑफ दैट क्वालिटी नॉट वैन आई आस्ट सो द डिफरेंस वॉज कि अगर मैंने वहाँ पर एक आइसक्रीम मिडल ऑफ द नाइट मांगी कि मुझे आज वनीला आइसक्रीम चॉकलेट वाली खानी है या जो भी है माई मामा मामी वुड बी टोल्ड टू टेक मी आउट इवन इफ इट वॉज लाइक टू ओ क्लॉक एट नाइट और ढूंढ के लेके आओ बट इफ आई डिड आस्क माई मॉम आई वुडेंट गेट इट सो आई लर्न दैट आई हैव टू गेट इट चाहिए तो थी मुझे अब तुम नहीं लाओगे तो मेरे को क्रिएट करनी पड़ेगी एंड दस दैट अनु येट एग्जिस्ट तो चाहिए मुझे अगर किसी ने नहीं दिया तो मैं तो ले आऊँगी किधर ना किधर से वो तो हमेशा रहती है मेरे पास क्योंकि अगर किसी ने नहीं दिया तो वो तो सबसे बड़ी मोटिवेशन होती है मेरे लिए एंड इज दैट द बून इन डिस गाइज दैट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट या इट इज इन मैनी मैनी वेज इट इज बिकॉज जहाँ पे किसी ने कह दिया ये तो तुम कर नहीं सकती राइट आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इट आई एम आई यूज टू टेल माई सेल्फ आई एम टेरेबल एट राइटिंग मुझे एक्चुअली नहीं पता लगता कि डी और बी में क्या फ़र्क है मुझे स्पेलिंग्स दिखते नहीं हैं और आर्टिकल uh, मैं लिख लूँगी ऐसा तो हो नहीं सकता था पीपल यूज टू एडिट फॉर मी इफ़ आई एवर रोट एन आर्टिकल बहुत दिक्कत बिकॉज आई वुड लुक एट द आर्टिकल एंड से कि ये है क्या टुडे आई राइट आर्टिकल्स फॉर द मैगजीन्स वाओ एंड दे गेट टेकन इन तो ये जिद थी मैं पैसे नहीं पे करती उसके लिए लिए जाते हैं nice. यही वो जिद थी ना कि चाहिए तो चाहिए हाँ मतलब चाहिए ना और hmm. गलत तरीके से नहीं करूँगी मैं राइट right. मैंने किसी को गलत तरीके से करते नहीं देखा मेहनत करूँगी रोंगी अगर ज़रूरत पड़े जब रिजेक्शन होती है तो रोना बहुत आता है बट वो आंसू किसी के लिए होते नहीं हैं वो मेरे लिए हैं वो आई थिंक इट इज़ सो साइलेंट दैट वेरी फ्यू पीपल हैव सीन मी क्राइंग अगर किसी ने मुझे रोते देख लिया है तो वो इसलिए है शायद कि आई एम वेरी क्लोज टू द पर्सन और आई एम कंफर्टेबल नहीं तो देर इज सच अ बिग शील्ड जिसको तुम स्ट्रेंथ बोलते हो रियलिटी <laughs> में ना शायद ये समझ लिया था कि लोगों के सामने रोने का मतलब है कि बिचारा बुलाते हैं आपको पो आ थिंग हम आम्स नॉट हेयर नो दैट्स वेर इट कम्स फ्रॉम पो आ थिंग पापा के पास इतने पैसे नहीं है ना इसको दे देते हैं चीज़ें अगे आपके हाथ हैं दिमाग दिया है खुदा ने तो फिर आपको कोई भी चीज़ पाने में कौन रोक सकता है सो कुछ समय पहले आपने बोला सही या गलत तरीके गलत तरीके से नहीं करती मैं नहीं चाहिए सही और गलत क्या होता है वॉट्स डिफरेंस राइट एंड रॉन्ग सो आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग लिटरली फ्राम राइट एंड रॉन्ग इन द मॉरल इशूज Now I'm talking about from Anu's perspective. Uh, from my perspective, if I am okay with my consciousness, right, then I will do it. And I think that's the best right or wrong. It's not what the world perceives; it's how you perceive right or wrong. The world has never perceived you in the right way. Right. Uh, if someone doesn't like me, I'm really happy about it. It's very authentic. You know, I like you, right? <laughs> And I'm not just saying that because I'm on camera. No, I'm just saying it. Yeah. If someone doesn't like me. and they come out and say i don't like you i'm okay with it yeah not because oh you'll say nahi but that's most authentic hmm dar lagta hai to usse dar lagta hai ki koi aake aapko ye kahe ki i love you agar maine bharosa kar liya to to fir to mushkil hai so jab jab nana nani when you were with your nana nani grandparents ke sath mein tabhi bhi i'm sure incidences hote hain jab aap rote the when you would cry and when you would with your parents you would also cry right? i don't remember okay so you never cried was it like an emotional blackmail kind of crying versus a in pain crying i think i was in pain hmm. it's very difficult for a 6 year old to be suddenly separated from your parents without hmm. any notification and i was separated at the time when my little sister came into and did you hate her for that not really i love her Back then, now I'm sure. Um, back then, I think she found it very difficult to deal with me mm. because I came back when she was three. Mm. Normally, a child comes into the family. You have an elder one, then a child comes into the family. Chota, here the child came back after three <laughs> years. Who was an adult? Yeah. I mean, in front of her. So you, you came back at nine. I came back at nine. Yeah. So what And was the three years like? 
Did you ever the have best the best years of my life? Did you ever look back at life and have a why me syndrome? No, I was told I've run away from the house during those six uh, when I was six. There were times when I remembered my mom so much that I packed a suitcase, put all the things that she gave me, because I probably heard from someone ki bichari ke paas maa baap nahi hai ya pata nahi kya kuch nahi hai. So I walked out of the house. I don't have a recollection. I walked out of the house. I went to the railway station. फिर किसी को भेजा गया मुझे ढूंढने के लिए ढूंढ ढांड के लेके आए आई हैव नो रिकलेक्शन ऑफ इट बट आई बीन कैंडिडली टोल्ड दैट मुझे परवाह नहीं थी मुझे अगर मेरे माँ बाप चाहिए तो चाहिए थे एंड शेड बॉट मी अ ग्रीन कलर शॉर्ट्स एंड एक स्ट्राइप्स वाली टी शर्ट थी जिस दिन ज़्यादा याद आती थी क्योंकि उन्होंने वो खरीद के दिया था आई वुड वेयर दैट और सिर पर तेल लगा के दो कुत्ते करके आई वुड सेट डाउन एंड से मुझे मेरी मम्मी के पास वापस भेज दो आई डोंट थिंक पीपल रियलाइज इट मुझे बहुत प्यार मिला उनसे बट यू नो आपकी मदर आपकी ही होती है एब्सोलूटली एब्सोलूटली देर टू अनु राइट वे आई सी इट वॉज वन अनु हु गॉट द आइसक्रीम एट टू इन द मॉर्निंग हु गॉट ऑल द लव एंड एवरी थिंग राइट एंड देर वॉज एन अनु हु रियली जस्ट ऑल दैट शी क्रेव वॉज हर मदर एंड हर फादर All I wanted them to see me, to acknowledge that I exist. Yeah. Nice, beautiful, right? How life, what the child really craves, because no one would understand today that all that a six-year-old child craves is acknowledgement. मुझे पैसे नहीं चाहिए थे उनके मुझे I didn't give a damn whether my father was successful or not. Mm. I wanted that that time back with my mom. I couldn't understand कि मेरी sister आने के बाद मुझे क्यों Why she prioritized? And did you ever question your parents about that? I did. I think I came back, and um, three years after I came back, I think I had a massive revolt in the house. Mm. I again have blocked it out, but um, I remember being a super rebel. I'm sure. It happened after my father left me in the school. Mm-hmm. I had no idea what school meant in Mumbai. He dropped me. Didn't come to leave me inside because he believed that independent banana. So I walked inside and कुछ ये क्या बोलते हैं unit test चल रहे थे. They shoot me out of the school. I'd never been to that school ever before. I walked out and I saw Sir Darji. That was familiar to me. I went and sat in the taxi and said, मुझे घर पहुँचा दो. and he asked me for a dress and i didn't have it kuch lamba sa chakkar laga ke i managed to reach him reach myself home and uh, he told my mother penji idhar naal kisi kudi nu bheja karo nahi ta na kothe chukke la jaoge todi kudi nu hmm. i'm speaking in punjabi yeah, because that's exactly that. what he said that you know you need to be careful yeah. how can you be so careless strangers are telling my mom you need to be careful But we all have our excuses. Of course. So all I needed them to to kind of acknowledge my presence. उस ज़्यादा कुछ भी नहीं था. And did you ever wonder why you found parents like this? And I'm sure much later in life, once you've you've embraced alternate healing, mm-hmm. did you ever wonder that maybe there was destiny? It was karma. It was some soul learning. Why did you attract parents like these in your space? मुझे ऐसा लगता है अगर मुझे मेरे dad जैसा dad नहीं मिलता तो शायद मैं बोल नहीं बनती राइट right. उस दिन जब मैं यूनिट टेस्ट के लिए अंदर गई थी दुनिया मेरे साथ नहीं खड़ी थी दुनिया मुझे शो कर रही थी पर आई मैनेज टू रीच माई सेल्फ बैक होम और अगर आज दुनिया शो करेगी तो आई स्टिल मैनेज टू रीच बैक होम सो दैट स्ट्रेंथ केम फ्रॉम दोज एक्सपीरियंस या मतलब आप देखो ना कि कुछ तो खड़ा होगा ना मेरे साथ समथिंग मस्ट है otherwise how can it be that the universe navigates you kyunki i just truly believe it was a navigation from one place to another and then as you grew up so what i'm seeing is 6 then 9 then 12 i'm seeing interesting numbers right 6 mein chhod diya 9 mein wapas aaye fir 12 mein rebellion hua so i'm seeing a number pattern it's interesting so do you see patterns in your life 
all the time. So the, do the same instances repeat? Do the same traumas repeat? Or the same yes, pain they repeat? do. Um, so I'm going to take you here a little bit back to mm -hmm. my ma my father's mother. Right. In my father's mother, we're talking about British time. Right. My nana had a whole, I, my, not nana, I would say my father's mother's father. Now, my daddy's father. Right. Had a whole lane in Faridkot where Britishers would come in. And they had a whole Haveli kind of thing where it was known that Britishers would be um, entertained. Do you know half the Europeans that I meet are Britishers today? <laughs> half my mentors are Britishers today. Wow. She went through an abortion mm -hmm. which turned out to take her death, reason of her death. And he, she, my father was just two years of age, so I never saw her. She was, uh, her room was shut down after that because abortion was considered a punishable offense at that time. Mm. Today what I talk and what I do, to do an abortion in that time and to say, I don't want another child, wasn't just how it is today. That you can go to railway station ke pe likha wa ke abortion karaya. Aisa nahi tha. I'm sure. Must have been difficult and No, it wasn't difficult. It was a taboo. Mm. They would put you behind bars. Mm. They had to call midwives and it had to be hush hush. I believe that I got a lot of strength to talk about periods and a lot of other things from there. Because she was bold enough to say, this is my body. I don't want another child. So we carry patterns from our ancestors. We of carry course we do. I'm sure we do. Of course we do. Do you notice, do you feel that you grew up without a mother, even though you had a mother? Because she was absent from a particular I feel age. I grew with many mothers who didn't see a child in me. I'm talking about your biological mother. Did you grow up, do you feel that you grew up without a mother? Yes. And do you yet feel that? Sometimes. And did you notice that your father also had no mother? Yes. And how does that play out in your life? Have you understood why it played out in a certain way? Yes. And were you able to resolve that as you moved ahead? You don't resolve patterns. You of accept you them. Uh, so if I was separated from my parents at six, my daughter was separated from me at 12. Hmm. And She's again, been, again, three, six, 12. Three, six, 12. I, I love her to bits, but I'm sure she feels the same way. I'm absent in her life, hmm. physically absent. So how do you resolve something like that, Anu? That's what I said. You don't resolve it. Right. But if it's a pattern that's carrying on, I'm sure with, in the world full of alternate healing modalities, there would be a cause and effect. It is shift to look at it. A, you ask me, is it having any benefit? Everything right. that's happening in life is there for you to catch a nectar mm -hmm. out of it. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, how would you look at it? How would you perceive it? Today, Divya, that's my daughter, is who she is right. because of her experiences. Mm -hmm. Will I change any of my experiences? The answer is no. Today, she stands in a place where I have asked her, would you have preferred the other way around? And she says, no. I mean, I am a person and I became who I am because you allowed me to be. And I say the same to my mother. She never... She's the softest, most beautiful person on this planet Earth. Actually, if you see my mom, you'll say, really? What I missed is when she wasn't around me, is mm. that softness. So as long as patterns serve you, yes. they're okay? Yes. But if they don't serve you, yes. then there is something that you need to look at and resolve. There are many ways to resolve it. I'm sure. But if we were to constantly look at something and fix it, resolve it, and not understand it, mm -hmm. not understand the beauty. So like, let's say a sunflower looks like a sunflower because it's got a pattern. Mm. A day and night is a pattern. A season is a pattern. Right. Are you going to change it? No, you're not. It serves its well, right? It has a reason it's there. Right. Like you said, certain things may not serve you. So when you say they're not serving you, you're saying they're not comfortable with you. Mm. 
And the reason that you have to ask yourself, and that's where your shadow side comes in, why am I not comfortable with it? Hmm. What is it doing to me? Look, I missed out on one mom. But I had so many moms. So you got the best of many, but not the, the best of one. I have the best of one right now. Okay. The last five years, we've been nurturing relationships. She's my backbone. She sits in every session of mine. She's my strength. My worry is, at this stage, I've got so attached to her that when she's not there, that will be very, very difficult for me. It wasn't so difficult to let my father go. So what, what shifted? What shifted was this whole need of her to see me. Hmm. I felt seen by my father as well as my mother. And what, but what happened? Can you share that journey with us? What really happened? Uh, and I have a ton of questions along with that. At what age? Did, because I, I see Anu at 12, in the, sitting with the Sardarji in the taxi. <laughs> and if destiny had it changed, right? I mean, you, 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 I think we're blessed, right? Yeah. If it wasn't that Sardarji and it was somebody else. If it could have been such a thing. It could have been such a thing. Right? And in that time, it would have been like that. I think it would have been less in the city. But in small towns, it's very common. And, you know, we've seen enough Bollywood movies to tell us that that's where inspiration comes from. Yeah. So what, so what happened between 12 and you said five years back, that shift? So tell us more about that journey. What was the most difficult time of that journey? So I think my father gave me the biggest tool on this planet Earth, which is knowledge. Hmm. He didn't say that you have to become wise. He left it on me as to how I would create that. But he said, Bete, padhai karo. Hmm. 15 minutes before he passed away, he said to me, I love you, Beta. You are my star. Nice. I was working on that day. He had no cribs that I was not sitting with him. He didn't guilt me. Hmm. He was just happy ki main kaam karke aayi thi. Mere ghar mein ladkiyan bahar ja ke kaam nahi karti hain. So you I became the come. star? I don't know. I was his star. So you, you mentioned that he'd been on bed, I mean, sitting in a couch for 10 years. And how did you react when you got to know what happened to him? I was there when things happened to him. I came back from Czech Republic. And within 15 days, he was lying down in the pool of blood. I was called from my residence, which was getting done. Vapis aajo, nanu ki death ho gaye, mama. I reached home. My mom was rolling on the ground. My maids were screaming, and they were picking him up from the pool of blood. I looked at him and said, and someone said he's alive. Mm. And that was it. Someone said he's alive. My mom wouldn't want him to get out into the ambulance because she felt... लोगों को पता लग जाएगा ये ना लोग बहुत तकलीफ वाली चीज है पंजाबियों की थोड़ी प्रॉब्लम है राइट पता नहीं क्या प्रॉब्लम है बट आई नो दैट लोग क्या कहेंगे लोग क्या कहेंगे यहां तक कि उन्होंने उनका कुर्ता चेंज कराया ओह माय गॉड इन द इन द ब्लीडिंग दैट ही वाज इन द ब्लीडिंग शी वेंट एंड वोर अ डायमंड की रिंग आई क्लियरली रिमेंबर दिस एंबुलेंस में नहीं बिठाने दिया एंबुलेंस मैंने जाके मंगाई नहीं बिठाने दिया she, he went in the car and she made him walk. Wow. This is how much we pretend. I'm not saying that what she did was right or wrong. I'm but just saying it was very different from how I would have done it. Of course. But I'm sure you were hell angry at that point of time, right? I was extremely angry. Yeah. I could have shaken her up. Yeah. But I was shaking myself up. I'm sure. And this was the time of swine flu. He was admitted and there was a man right next to him in the cubicle who had died. They had not even removed his body. These are our hospitals. So the journey that coming back from Czech Republic, which was minus 35 to plus 35 in India, I thought I was coming back to the warmth. <laughs> but you came back to the colder part of the country. I came back to if I ever complained against my mom to anyone. They looked at me and said, Tere mammi hai wo. I said, Mujhe pata hai meri hai. I wouldn't connect with anyone. Um, 
I couldn't connect, not because I didn't want to, didn't feel fitted in. What's interesting here is, Itesh, seeing my father in that state from a man who had every day morning picked up his bags with a broad smile on his face and said, Bye, beta, to the time when he couldn't move. And 10 years wasn't easy. I saw him deteriorating slowly. Mm -hmm. But I also saw my mom's strength at that time. Those 10 years she held him. Like how? Like how? So the, the anger that you had against your parents, had it gone away by then or was it yet there? Sometimes it pops up. So when you looked at your father in the couch, did you ever wonder, Acha hua yaar. Saath itna bura kiya. No, no. My father never did anything to me. It was destiny. Mm. And uh, But there was a child who was angry, right? That pain... I wasn't the, angry with him. That was so funny. Hmm. I was angry with my mom. Ah, the anger lied over there. Yeah, and then when he crossed over, I, I mean, realized... you saw her in pain? No. She never showed her pain. A lady who wore a ring and walked out, who dressed him, hmm. has always dressed the right expression on her face, always dressed right. She doesn't show it. And how much of yourself do you see in, you know, how much of a mother do you see in yourself? All of it. Yeah. And would you do that with the drinks and the jewelry? Is it that um, important? I could, I couldn't, I couldn't wear diamonds the way she does. I have everything. It wasn't something just changed. Hmm. I love dressing up. I love jewelry, but I feel it's very easy to fool people. Hmm. The persona, the facade. मतलब मजा तो तब आए ना कि तुम मुझे जज करो और कहो कि तेरे पास कुछ नहीं अंडरएस्टिमेट करो कि कुछ नहीं है तेरे पास और मैं आपके साथ हाफ में हाँ मिलाती जो मेरे पास कुछ नहीं है और पता लगे सारा खजाना तो सिर्फ मेरे पास ही था नाइस सो सो व्हेन यू वर ग्रोइंग अप एंड वर यू येट शफलिंग बैक एंड फॉर्थ यू मूव टू बॉम्बे परमानेंटली आई थिंक शफलिंग वॉज पार्ट ऑफ माई लाइफ I felt like a brown girl in the white world <laughs> and felt like a white girl in the brown world. And kuch kaam bhi aise hi the. So again, no home because right from childhood, no home. No home. The the song that used to come to me was, you know, Shah Rukh Khan's that song, Challa ki labda fere, Yara da kar keda, Loka nu labda fere, you know, Yara nu labda fere. I think I was searching for a lot of love in a peculiar way. And again, no mother. Because no. from multiple mothers to Mumbai mother, <laughs> Mumbai chiai, Delhi ki ma, I don't know what they call mother in Calcutta, and then having the European mother, because even eventually the land is our mother, right? That's so at what age did Anu become an adult? Six. The second the separation happened. It's because at six I was sexually molested, hmm. repeatedly, hmm. which stopped at twelve, and, and that, that didn't happen at my nani's house. Mm. It happened when I would come back to Mumbai to visit my parents. We would go to an uncle's house, who was old enough to be my grandfather. And um, it was very subtle. So he felt, I thought it was extremely loud. There were adults all over the place, and I was just a kid in his lap. People didn't see it. Like I said, I was the only thing to see. Hmm. कि इट्स नॉट दैट आई कुडेंट कोप अप विद द कोप अप वो तो बाद की बात है ना आपको दिख नहीं रहा किसी को नहीं दिखा सब अंधे थे क्या सो इज द अनु येट लुकिंग टू बी सीन नॉट रियली ओके सो दैट दैट डिड इवेंचुअली कम आइदर एक्सेप्टेड और रिजॉल्वड टुडे आई हैव द बेस्ट पीपल इन माय लाइफ हु सी मी हु मोल्डेड मी व्हाट वाज हैपनिंग विद द अनु व्हाट वाज योर मदर वर यू एंग्री विद योर मदर वर यू एंग्री विद योर फादर when you did not get acknowledged with the sexual abuse with the separation with 14 year old buried it she put up so much of makeup on it but she didn't remember and i think that's 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 what we all do in life right 14 16 18 20 i 20. i knew something was terribly wrong yeah but you don't know what it is because that's the condition you eventually have found your parents you've moved back with them yeah you've growing up everything you wanted yeah is there yeah and you really don't know because the acknowledgement is i think the adult i could feel i was a very adult i mm. didn't need anyone to kind of carry me or do anything i i was very 
complete in myself, as I would call it. But there was always this ki tumko to dikhna nahi hai. So from looking for acknowledgement came tumko dikhna nahi hai. Because I think the the you're seeking something. And when you don't find it, you go into hiding. I think what I was looking for, and this is still a year back, something has shifted, and I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. I think I do know, but till a year back, I think what I was looking for was love and understanding what love really is. Mm-hmm. Is love sex? Is love mummy ka pyar? Is love papa ka pyar? Is love what that man gave me the man who molested me right was that love out of love that people didn't see what was happening hmm pyar hai kya yaar kya chidiya ka naam hai hmm that's what i was searching for a year back not even a year back 6 months back i went through a whole program of art therapy i'm a therapist now in it and i was learning in mumbai with the lady called banashree ghate It was a very interesting experience for me. I didn't need to be there, but I wanted to be there. Hmm. So I learned a that I had to change all the gears of my life if I had to fit into that program, which I did. Uh, there was a little rejection there too. But the best scene that I remember was that we were asked to create a song. and i said something like pyar ke liye kuch bhi karega hmm. love ke liye kuch, kuch bhi, bhi karega, karega. oh jumure kya karega bola jumure kya karega jumure love ke liye kuch bhi karega right and that and sort of sunk in and stayed no the lady walked in and looked at me not not vanashri sonia mm-hmm. the drama lady mm-hmm. she walked up to me and looked at me straight and said kuch bhi that words kuch bhi right broke my whole identity on that day and i stood there and saying how vulnerable if i thought that is love then i will remove all my masks and i'll allow myself to be as vulnerable as a naked person can be just to feel that love just to feel that love and it may not be and this were exact words that papa had given me right ki काम दिल लगा के करना ऐसे नहीं कैलकुलेट करके करेगा नॉट इन द नॉन्ग रॉन्ग वे बट ये समझेगा hmm. कि वाकई में मिठास है शहद है कि ये सिर्फ एक यू नो वहम है एक आपने और एल्यूजन क्रिएट कर लिया अपने लिए क्योंकि जब आप एल्यूजन क्रिएट करते हो फिर दिल बहुत दर्द होता है Hmm. because you expect people to be treating you in a in a certain way all your life you don't expect them to disappear you expect them to be there absolutely absolutely interesting ye tha ki meri zindagi se koi disappear hua nahi ye bhi maine realize kiya mm mm-hmm. but the perception was that people were not there because maine kabhi mud ke dekha hi nahi na so kabhi husband se pyar nahi mila of course Bahut but that's mila. a different That's a different kind of love. That's a different. It doesn't replace the love that you want from your mother. No, it doesn't. Right. Of course it doesn't. It doesn't. Did you ever feel that you're seeking a mother in your spouse? Not really. No. Not really. I know that a lot of people feel that mother and spouse of the same kind. Sure. Not really. I think uh Vikram is more like my nana. Hmm. He gave me everything that I could have never bought. Right. uh making me aware giving me again the you know at one point my mom came and said to you said shake thank you bolna chahiye vikram ko to bola kis cheez ke liye tujhe padhne de raha hai to main bola aap mujhe thank you bol do to kehte kyu ki aapki beti ka padhne ka dil kar raha hai to kya ye team work hoti hai hitesh right marriage i've been married for 32 years wow. i have two beautiful kids it's not that any marriage always stays stagnant like anything of course par mere liye wo important nahi tha mere liye ye important tha ki wo bhaga nahi abhi tak agar wo 32 years mujhe tolerate kar gaya 
और मैंने उसको टॉलरेट कर लिया है तो दोनों में कुछ तो है तो कुछ तो कशिश होगी कुछ right. तो केयरिंग होगी राइट right. दूसरे तो भाग लिए सो हाउ डिड विक्रम डील विद डिड यू एवर एक्सप्रेस टू हिम हाउ यू फेल्ट अबाउट योर अबाउट द अब्यूज अबाउट द लैक ऑफ द मदर इन योर लाइफ अबाउट दैट होल रिलेशनशिप डिड ही uh i mean when you told him what happened not only about the abuse but i'm sure as an adult sometimes when we find the right person we express that meri maan nahi thi jab main badi ho rahi thi i never expressed it oh you didn't no i expressed about the abuse and that too it happened by chance right. um i went to carl dawson's workshop mm mm-hmm. in his first matrix team printing workshop in czech republic and um i regained my memories during that time Hmm. he was working on me and uh, it was scary boss it was like a flash on flash <laughs> things falling down and i looked at him and i said to him i'll slap you <laughs> don't touch me and he thought i'm talking to the abuser and i was talking to him how long had it been buried for uh, i was 9 when this i came back to mumbai I was 42 when I regained my memory back. 41. So six, nine, twelve—that entire phase of six years—and then buried for almost 36 years. Absolutely. And then when it came back, I called up my mom to say, "Mom, I remember." And she said, "Mat batana Vikram ko, ghar se bahar phenk dega." So that was a very trying period after marriage to be immediately with because within a year I had a baby and then this whole facade of being in the hospital and I couldn't you know from being a professor lecturer successful to this down and dumb story where your new mom you don't know what it is like to be a mom to you're handling your body and then another child Did you always want to be a mom I always wanted to be a mom. It's something you really wanted. I didn't think about it, but it was not something that I was always against abortion. It was something that I would never ever in my mind go and do and say no I don't want a child. At that age did you know about your grandmother's abortion? I didn't. You didn't. And did you know about how was how was your relationship with your mother back then? She was there in my life. Yeah. So things had or they seemed to be okay at that point of time. Things were never so bad outside. Hmm. You see, it was internally that I wasn't comfortable. Yeah. I don't ever remember going and telling her because like I told you if you meet her you'll be most of the people who meet her tell me oh you got you're lucky you have a mom like that. Hmm. But you knew and how I it am, is. I knew how it was. She wasn't there. And so did, did you choose to be a mother who's always going to be there? Mm, I wanted to be but I couldn't be. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the mother the mother was always absent. And then you became a mother. But were you trying to fill up a void inside or did you feel a void inside? Did I feel a void inside? I don't know. Right. I never sat down and um spent time on the void. Mm. I was busy filling up something. Mm. Um if then collecting knowledge mm-hmm. is part of filling that void. Yeah, we all do different things, right? Some people eat, some people travel. I traveled. Yeah, and was that also to fill the void? I just love traveling. Mm. But I traveled with a purpose. Mm. Purpose of education. So mm. I traveled across to places that people don't even go and I traveled alone. Like And this is after being married? After being married? Mm. uh Estonia and what were uh, you studying there all these things uh, EFT matrix reimprinting but that happened much i'm t- i'm talking about much earlier do you do you if there was a turning point in your life where you started believing in the alternative healing the alternative modalities i do don't think i took these words alternate healing sure even when i met the energy work let's call the it the energy work when i met carl dawson the window he opened up for me for the child to see through mm-hmm. and understand where i was stuck so is that the turning point that was yeah so that's why you think what really happened during that session was it your first session with him yeah, yeah. and were you the demo oh my god <laughs> let's he, hear about it yeah he, he, he i told you he was tapping on me and right i told him don't want to slap you i'll slap you yeah did you 
I didn't because he stopped tapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the next day when I came back, Martha said to him, she wants to slap you. And he <laughs> said, no, she wants to slap the abuser. Mm. And he asked me. And I looked at him and said, I want to slap you. Mm. When you know I'm, I was sexually touched, how can you continue touching me? Mm. You should have asked my permission. Right. So tell me, Anu, if you were to write a book on your journey with the journey of you being, um, is abandoned the right word or separated? What is the word you'd like to use? When you looked at your, how your parents left you with your uh, grandparents? I would say from secure to, from being seen to not seen. And with your mother, is that how you, how would you term the journey of th that separation to now having your mother attend and being pres presumably one of your biggest fans? I've always said invisible. <clears throat> the invisible mother? The invisible to someone who's become very, very supportive. Hmm. Invisible to supportive mother. Mm, I wouldn't call mother. That somehow doesn't fit in. Today she's truly a friend. Hmm. Invisible mother to supportive friend. Yes. That's a nice... That'll be a nice book, right? I hope you write it someday. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the title. Absolutely. Well, it's your title. You chose it. Invisible yeah. mother to supportive friend. Yeah. yeah. If you had to tell your, your children or let's say your grandchildren three incidences about your mother, what three would you narrate? I'm sure there'll be many more, but from now, what three would you narrate? I would tell my grandchildren... Sometimes you see softness and you mistake it for weakness. Mm. Softness is not weakness. My mother is Was the softest person on this planet Earth. But not the weakest. But the strongest link in my life. Wow. That's beautiful. And it's, it's a beautiful journey for the six-year-old Anu, you know, who really dressed up in those green shorts and the striped T-shirt, put oil in her hair, to the Anu sitting in front of me, lo looking all gorgeous, talking about the weak, the soft, and the strong elements of her mother. Yeah. You don't need to become a man to be strong. And I'm presuming Carl Dawson's that one session has a lot to do with this journey. I'm sure there are multiple elements to it. Absolutely. It's never one. Never one. one. Second thing that I would tell my grandchildren is, it's never too late to understand your finances. Hmm. My mother understood her finances, and we all thought she, would, she couldn't even sign on a paper. Today she does her IT herself. Wow. She goes to the bank herself. I never went with her. All I told her, like she told me, or my father said to me, to kar sakti hai. Mom, you can do it. We never looked at her age and said, Mom, you can't do this. You can do everything. And she knows more about the resources around in the money world than I do. Wow. She's handled Papa's complete portfolio, including his shares and everything. So don't be scared. Because sometimes it feels like and even if you're scared, it's okay. Of course. I mean, you look at my mother. She's been scared all her life, underestimating herself. But the strength comes out and it shows when it has to show. <laughs> if you had to give gratitude to one person or one incident who has been the transformative or the catalyst or whatever you'd like to term it, you know, from the journey from that six-year-old to the journey of today, and specifically with your mother in mind, who would you give? I will actually go back to my abuser hmm. and say thank you to him. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Anu. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you. And uh, we've loved every minute of this conversation. Thank you so much. I want to just say one last thing. Sure. The first time I spoke about my abuse, there was so much of anger. And that was before... 
I took the stage at Sully Hill. There was an interview that was done by Johannes Fischlinger. Today that anger is not there. Mm. Today truly I could walk back to that man and say to him, I wish someone had taught you how to really love. Thank you. Thank you so much. So today we had Anu with us in house and we bring to you stories like this, stories of transformation, stories of success, stories of resilience. Uh, joining hands is a community of 24,000 plus people. And from there, we choose the best of the best. We choose the stories of rigor, stories that empower us, to empower you to take this transformation, to take the steps ahead, to really embrace the beautiful powers of energy, to understand that everything that happens in our life is actually a gift for us to become and learn. We're not discounting the trauma. We don't discount your pain. We create a support system for you to be able to open up and share, and from there on, transform your life to be the best version of who you choose to be. Do visit us at joininghands.in to know more and become part of this beautiful community. Thank you. Thank you.